Eutelsat SA is a European satellite operator. Providing coverage over the entire European continent, the Middle East, Africa, Asia and the Americas, it is the world's third largest satellite operator in terms of revenues. Eutelsat's satellites are used for broadcasting nearly 7,000 television stations, of which 1,400 are in HD, and 1,100 radio stations to over 274 million cable and satellite homes. They also serve requirements for TV contribution services, corporate networks, mobile communications, Internet backbone connectivity and broadband access for terrestrial, maritime and in-flight applications. Eutelsat is headquartered in Paris. Eutelsat Communications Chief Executive Officer is currently Rodolphe Belmer. In October 2017, Eutelsat acquired NOORSAT, one of the leading satellite service providers in the Middle East, from Bahrain's Orbit Holding Group. NOORSAT is the premier distributor of Eutelsat capacity in the Middle East, serving blue chip customers and providing services for over 300 TV channels almost exclusively from Eutelsat's market leading Middle East and North Africa neighborhoods at 7 eighths of a degree west and 25.5 degrees east. History The European Telecommunications Satellite Organization Eutelsat was originally set up in 1977 by 17 European countries as an intergovernmental organization IGO. Its role was to develop and operate a satellite-based telecommunications infrastructure for Europe. The convention establishing the European Telecommunications Satellite Organization Eutelsat was opened for signature in July 1982 and entered into force on the 1st of September 1985. In 1982, Eutelsat decided to start operations of its first TV channel, Sky Channel or Sky One, on the orbital test satellite. TS in cooperation with ESA, the European Space Agency. This was the first satellite based direct to home TV channel launched in Europe. In 1983 Eutelsat launched its first satellite to be used for telecommunications and TV distribution. Initially established to address satellite telecommunications demand in Western Europe, Eutelsat rapidly developed its infrastructure to expand coverage to additional services .e. TV, and markets, such as Central and Eastern Europe in 1989, and the Middle East, the African continent, and large parts of Asia and the Americas from the 1990s. Eutelsat was the first satellite operator in Europe to broadcast television channels direct to home. It developed its premium neighborhood of five hot bird satellites in the mid-1990s to offer capacity that would be able to attract hundreds of channels to the same orbital location, appealing to widespread audiences for consumer satellite TV. With the general liberalisation of the telecommunications sector in Europe, EUTELSAT's assets, liabilities and operational activities were transferred to a private company called Eutelsat SA established for this purpose in July 2001. The structure role and activities of the new intergovernmental organisation Eutelsat IGO evolved. To this day, the main purpose of Eutelsat IGO has been to ensure that Eutelsat SA observes the basic principles set forth in the Eutelsat Amended Convention entered into force in November 2002. These basic principles refer to public service, universal service obligations, pan-European coverage by the satellite system, non-discrimination and fair competition. The Executive Secretary of Eutelsat IGO participates in all meetings of the Board of Directors of Eutelsat Communications SA and Eutelsat SA as an observer to the Board Sensor. .In April 2005, the principal shareholders of Eutelsat SA grouped their investment in a new entity, Eutelsat Communications, which is now the holding company of the group owning 95.2% of Eutelsat SA on October 6, 2005. 
Currently it owns 96.0% of Utilsat SA on July 31, 2013. Utilsat Communications announced the 100% acquisition of Satellites Mexicanos SA de CV Satmex for $831 million in cash plus assumption of $311 million in Satmex debt pending government and regulatory approvals. The transaction was finalized on January 2, 2014. Based in Mexico, Satmex operates three satellites at contiguous positions, 113 degrees west Satmex 6, 114.9 degrees west Satmex 5, and 116.8 degrees west Satmex 8, that cover 90% of the population of the Americas. In December 2015, the company announced a partnership with Facebook to launch an Internet satellite over Africa by 2016 where Facebook lease all of a satellite's high-throughput Ka band capacity, however the satellite was destroyed during launch preparations. <laughs> Services Hybrid Satellite OT Solutions In September 2018, Utilsat launched Utilsat Cirrus, a new turnkey content delivery solution which enables broadcasters to deliver content to satellite and OT screens and offer their audiences a seamless, multi-screen experience. Combining the wide reach of traditional DTH, with next-generation features, broadcasters can deliver an enriched viewer experience through live channel broadcasting, channel numbering, program information, content security, subscriber management and set-top box management. Viewers can watch content on screens, phones and tablets, access multiple programs, record and rewind and view detailed program information. Topic: Satellites. Utilsat sells capacity on 37 satellites located in geosynchronous orbit between 133 degrees west and 174 degrees east. On the 1st of March 2012, Utilsat changed the names of its satellites. The group's satellites mostly take the Eutelsat name, with the relevant figure for their orbital position and a letter indicating their order of arrival at that position. On 21 May 2014, Eutelsat Americas aligned its satellite names with the Eutelsat brand. <laughs> Rented capacity Topic. Former satellites Topic. Bibliography CTFD in French CTFD in English Guy Lebig, Trad. Robert J. Amrel, Eutelsat 2, OK for West to East Service. In Review Aerospatial, N Degree 73, November 1990. See also